deformed, cute, unethical, colorful. Blood parrots are one of those man-made hybrid species that is guaranteed to get a reaction from everyone. People either love them or hate them. To be honest, I've always shied away from hybrid species when I started fish keeping. Blood parrots changed everything for me. They certainly aren't for everyone, but today, I will be giving you 5 reasons why you should love them instead of hate them. Hey, what is going on guys? If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I love making fish videos. So consider subscribing and come join this community of fish lovers. By the end of this video, you may love blood parrots or you may hate them, but you will find out where they originated from, who their parent species are, and why they are such a popular fish in the hobby. So whether you're looking for a new fish to stock your aquarium, or you're simply in love with blood parrots and want to know more about them, this video is for you. So let us begin the countdown. Reason 5 to get blood parrots, a little kid in a grown man's body. Being the American cichlid that they are, personality is a big selling point for blood parrots. Sure, those cardinal tetras and tiger barbs look cool when they school up and down the aquarium. But if you are looking for a fish that has a mind of its own, interacts with you on what seems like a personal level, then blood parrots are definitely worth considering. They will greet you whenever you come by your tank. They certainly give you their attention. Sometimes, I wonder if I'm the one watching them, or are they the ones watching me? What separates blood parrots from other American cichlids? I would describe their personality as a good mix of cute, nasty, and playful. It's almost as though they are a little child stuck in a grown man's body. When they are feeling confident, but perhaps jealous, you will see their nasty behaviour. Sometimes they pick fights with one another, sometimes they just have to annoy the new fish I just introduced. And like any kid that doesn't know when to stop, these guys are stubborn. If there's something they don't like, they won't let it go. Yet, they get startled by the weirdest of things. Once, the thunder roared outside and my blood parrots got so scared, they dashed to lodge themselves between the driftwood and substrate. They refused to come out for the entire day. Like I said, a little kid in a grown man's body. And just like any child, they want to be the center of your attention, always coming right up to the glass as though they are afraid you'll miss them. Reason 4 to get blood parrots? They go well in community tanks. The reason cichlids are avoided and sometimes even disliked by many is because they tend to be territorial, aggressive, and predatory towards community fish. The convict cichlid, for example, has a tendency to chase any fish that comes close to its territory. And other fish like Oscars and Jack Dempsey's would turn your community fish into a snack. Well, blood parrots are still predatory, so you can forget about your tiny cardinal and neon tetras. They are, however, a lot more tame and almost not aggressive at all towards community fish, as long as they don't fit in their mouth, which isn't very big. Almost all species of barbs and even the bigger tetras are too big to be eaten and can live together peacefully with blood parrots. My favorite combination? Blood parrots, tiger barbs, and clown loaches. The splashes of yellow from the tiger barbs and clown loaches complement the bright orange of the blood parrots while the contrasting size makes the aquarium more dynamic and interesting. The third reason to get blood parrots? They go well in cichlid tanks. Remember what I said about cichlids being bad community fish because they are aggressive and territorial? Well, finding teammates for cichlids can be difficult. A fish that is too kind and gentle will easily be bullied to death. A fish that is too aggressive and strong will easily bully to death. Blood parrots tend to fall right in the middle. They are aggressive enough to stand up for themselves and big enough to outsize or at least match up against several species of cichlids. 
they can put up enough resistance to not be easy targets of bullies. Yet, you rarely have to worry about them killing another fish. They aren't known to be troublemakers or particularly aggressive, like many cichlid species have gained a reputation for. Their deformed mouths means they cannot bite, so the chances of them killing is close to none. They can still harass other fish and will definitely pick fights from time to time, so it's never a guarantee that it'll work out. But overall, they're still a safer bet. What's cool is these guys can crossbreed with other cichlid species rather easily. So if you're into making unique hybrids, this is a good option for you. My female blood parrot Gomora has spawned with Thanos, my flower horn, several times. This was unintentional. Unfortunately, the fry would always get eaten by other fish. My number two reason to keep blood parrots, color and shape. They are called blood parrots for a reason. Because their colors are blood red? Well, somewhat. Well, that seems to be the reason they are called blood parrots. Most commonly available blood parrots today resemble a bright orange coloration. It's nothing too fancy, but it's this simple yet classic coloration that makes them popular and the number two reason to keep them. They will stand out in just about any tank whether you have a bright or dark substrate, planted or non-planted tank. And yes, I did just mention planted. While many species of cichlids will simply destroy plants in the aquarium, blood parrots are a species I have found to be relatively plant safe. However, like most cichlids, they do enjoy digging into the substrate, so you have to stick to epiphyte plants like java ferns or anubias they can be tied to driftwood and lodged between rocks. Their colours are sure to pop out from the lush greenery. Throw in some tiger barbs and clown oaches, and ooh, you got yourself the perfect aquarium combination. Their body structure and shape has a unique combination of height and length ratio that few fish offer as they grow relatively tall for their length. A blood parrot that is 6 inches long could easily be 4 inches tall. The only other fishes I know with such ratios are the angelfish and discus. This ratio is great because it allows them to live in many sizes of community aquariums where the length and width might not allow for longer fish but their height will still allow them to stand out as a great centerpiece that's clearly larger than all its tankmates. We've now come to the number one reason blood parrots are awesome. Ready? Their origins. Blood parrots are a hybrid species bred in Taiwan somewhere around 1986. Breeders crossbred two naturally occurring species of American cichlids, the Midas cichlid and the Redhead cichlid. The Midas cichlid aka Amphilophus citronellus is a large cichlid originating from Central America and is known for its aggression and power. Few cichlids can outpower the Midas and it is often said to kill any tankmate it deems unworthy of living with them. The redhead cichlid is a vieja cichlid which are also known to grow large and powerful. These fish are commonly used to breed flower hunts as well due to their outstanding coloration. Both these fish are the embodiment of American cichlids, aggressive and powerful. However, they each get huge and not everyone can afford the space to house them. Both the Midas and Redheads get up to 12 to 16 inches and require large tanks. The Blood Parrot is a toned down version of its parents and get up to only 6 to 8 inches. So if you want a taste of some of the most beautiful yet powerful cichlids but don't have space for a large tank or perhaps you want them to have some smaller fish for companions and not snacks then the blood parrot is for you. Now although I'm done with the 5 reasons to get blood parrots, don't go anywhere just yet. I'd like to share with you an interesting fact about blood parrots you need to know. There's a variation of the blood parrot that is sometimes sold in aquariums as heart parrots. Well, I'm not sure if you call animal abuse a variation. They are actually the exact same blood parrot that had its tail cut off when it's young for it to resemble the shape of a heart. Now before you dislike this video in disgust, 
I want you to do the opposite. If you are against such practices, give this video a thumbs up. It will help YouTube know this is a good video and you'll spread the awareness so people wouldn't buy the hard parrot and unknowingly support such practices. Alright guys, I hope I've convinced some of you why blood parrots are awesome. Let me know in the comments below what you think about hybridized fish. Are you okay with keeping hybrids? Or are you team all natural? To be honest, I've always shied away from hybrid species in my early days of fish keeping. I came into this hobby because I enjoyed the natural looking in aquariums and I wanted to replicate nature. However, blood parrots change everything. Their personality led me down the path of hybrids and I ended up buying Thanos, my flower horn, which will be my next video. So if you think a flower horn might be the fish for you, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss it. In the meantime, if you're still looking for fish to stock your aquarium, click the video on the left to see why tiger bubs are awesome since they make the perfect tank mates for blood parrots. Or click the video on the right to find out why the nasty and aggressive convict cichlid can actually be a great fish as well. Alright, don't forget to comment below if you are a fan of hybrid fish or not.